You're probably unable to hear this right now, but there's so much construction happening behind my house. Oh, it's November! They know it's NaNoWriMo, right? I've got writing to do! They don't listen. Thursday, November 6th, and on today's Circulation Desk, I'm going to talk to you about treating writing like a job. Big disclaimer, if you want to write as a hobby, that is awesome and fantastic and I encourage it, and you do you. This video is specific to people who want to make a full-time living writing, or try to, and tips will be directed in that uh, official businessy manner. So far, so good. I've published five books now. One of those books is technically part of an anthology that was then separated, but I have five titles to my name right now, which is crazy. I am trying to make a living as a writer, and I say trying to because I'm still not yet financially able to support myself with income from my books and all of those sales. But I'm on the way, hopefully, in that direction. I'm in the right direction. You just stay positive, Erica. You can do it. And all too often when I talk to people about being a writer, they just assume that it's a hobby and they ask me what I actually want to do for a living, in which I respond, um, write books. And it is possible. Remember that review I did of Write, Publish, Repeat? Those authors, Johnny B. Truant, Sean Platt, and the third, who I'm blanking on the name, I'm so sorry. They are able to make a full living and more on their writing. Why? Because they have so many titles to their name and they treat writing as a business. Okay, don't skeeve out on me. I understand that it's weird to think about writing in businessy ways. It's so much more romantic to think of it as creativity, typing on an old-fashioned typewriter and producing these beautiful lyrics for this book that will be hailed as a classic, just, let's be realistic about this. We can't only view our writing in terms of romanticism or creativity. It has to, once we finish the actual writing process, start to become a business. We need to work on marketing and self-promotion, and I get that that's awkward to do. I sometimes have issues telling people to buy my own books, even though I would like them to buy my books, so I say, hey, by Kelly's books. Kelly Sheridan, that's K-E-L-L-I-E -L -L -E, Sheridan. Ooh, she's gonna hate that I said that. She can't take it out. Ha! Trapped. Speaking of Kelly Sheridan, a while ago she made a video about how to start building or establishing your online presence or platform with an author website where people can easily see where you are, social media, and of course a newsletter. Shameless plug, I have a newsletter. It goes out twice a month. Please subscribe. You get free stuff and bonus information before other people do. Uh, let's just say this, the last newsletter I sent out had a 10 hour dubstep mix of spooky scary skeletons. Do you want to miss that? I don't think you do. In addition to doing things like having a newsletter and your website, you also want to be strict and professional about your writing habits. I've talked about writing routine before. Try to establish one. It's extremely helpful. Also, write every day. Even if it's not writing a full chapter or even part of a chapter and it's just character development or research or plotting, work on your writing every day. I know there will be days that you don't feel like doing it. I get it. But still, do something. There are lots of days that people who work traditional jobs don't want to go in, but they do. Now, of course, you can take off if you're extremely sick or a family emergency comes up, you know, reasons that people would miss actual work. But if you start treating your writing and your writing routine like an actual job and sitting down for a certain number of hours every single day and working on specifically writing or marketing yourself or your blog, something to do with your writing career, then you're golden. The bottom line is if you want writing to be your career, you have to treat it like one. If you treat it like a hobby, it will become a hobby and nothing more. But if you're serious and really strap into work and treat it like a job and, you know, hold yourself accountable and get other people to hold you accountable, Nano's helping with that, you'll go far. Also work on your writing because if you market it and people come and see your book but it's not spectacular, then 
I don't know what to tell you, bunny. Practice makes close to perfect. You will never be perfect. I don't get the saying, practice makes perfect. Practice makes close to perfect. So work every day at it. That's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to tune in this Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our live chat. The topic is listed below. Until then, I love you nerds, and I will see you Sunday.